So, uh, we'll talk briefly in this video about alkanes and alkenes. Now, if you are a triple scientist, you definitely need to know all of this. If you're a double scientist, you need to know that alkanes are found in crude oil, okay, and alkenes, uh, they are one of the products of cracking. So you do need to know a tiny bit about alkenes, but not a huge amount. So that probably for, you, for, for, for the double scientist, this first paragraph is enough. So alkanes and alkenes are two different homologous series. A homologous series, remember, is a family of hydrocarbons, and we looked at that a couple of pages ago. Those are both hydrocarbons. Okay, so everybody needs to know this definition of hydrocarbons. A hydrocarbon is a compound or molecule Okay, uh, I'll use the word molecule. A molecule, just to remind you, is a, uh, is a, is a unit, is a compound, if you like, that's co that contains covalent bonds, non-metals only, made of carbon, because carbon's non-metal, and hydrogen only. So that, that's a very important definition. A hydrocarbon is a compound or a molecule made of carbon and hydrogen atoms only. Alkanes, they're found in crude oil, okay, and we separate those with distillation. Uh, and alkenes are produced when long chain, so the long chain alkanes are not very good fuels, so we don't have a high demand for those, but we can crack them to make shorter chain alkanes and also these alkenes. So alkanes are found in crude oil and alkenes are produced when long chain alkanes are cracked. That process is called cracking. Alkanes have carbon to carbon single bonds, okay, uh, and are known as saturated. Whereas alkenes have carbon to carbon double bonds and are known as unsaturated. Let's quickly draw out an alkene and alkane to make the point. So there's an alkane, okay, carbon to carbon single bonds surrounded by hydrogens. That's ethane, it's an alkane because it has that carbon to carbon single bond. And here is uh, the corresponding alkene, two carbons, but this time there's a double bond in between, surrounded by less hydrogens because of that double bond. Each carbon can only form four bonds. One, two, three, four, you see. And this one is called ethene. Okay? The double bond is a reactive site. Alkenes are therefore more reactive than the corresponding member of the alkane family. So we can actually make these. These are slightly more reactive than these. Okay. Uh, why is methane the first member of the alkane family and yet no methane exists? Well, for, a, for, a, for an alkene, we have to have a carbon to carbon double bond. And methane, methane, let's draw methane out. Meth only has one carbon. Meth means one carbon. So you can't have a double bond with one carbon. You can't have a carbon to carbon double bond with one carbon. Okay, you need at least two carbons, and eth means two carbons. Uh, so let's just go through those prefixes again. So meth means, uh, sorry, the number of carbons in the chain is one, so the prefix there is meth. If there's two carbons in the chain, it always starts eth, so that was ethane, because it's got two carbons. This is ethene, because it's got two carbons. That one there was methane, because it's got one carbon. Uh, prop. Prope is three carbons, three carbons is prope, and uh, this is really triple the separate science now, but is four. So th this is separate science only. So separate only. If you're a double award scientist, I don't think you need to know that. Uh, the end of the hydrocarbon is derived from the hydrocarbon family, which originates. Uh, what is the ending for of all alkanes and al uh, alkene molecules? Well, the ending is ane and ene. Okay, so back up here, let's have a quick look. That's eth ane. Okay, because it's an alkane. This is ethene because it's an alkene. So the ending is A-N-E and E-N-E.